my dad doesn't want me to play Roblox <laughs> because I can just do sport on Roblox. I just wanted her to limit video games and enjoy being able to go outside. I totally can agree. Ten minutes of workout and the rest of the day playing Roblox. Playing like half a day on a screen, it's not that healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Hi! I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Mackenzie's dad, Chris. What are you two doing here today? My dad wants like us to be more like active, but I like to play video games. So what's at stake for this game? If she wins, I'm willing to play video games uh, once a week with her. That doesn't sound like that much time. One day? Two days? Four days? <laughs> All right, four days. Well, I'll, I'll leave it at four. All right, that's good. So now, if I win, she has to go and play with me outside at least an hour a day. All summer long. Say hi to the judges. Hi, judges. Hi, judges. Hi. I'm Bruce Leroy, a.k.a. Darnell's Barbells. I'm a rapper and a personal trainer. I'm Anara. I am a video gamer. I'm also a streamer. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Hi, my name is Austin, and um, I'm a kid. Who's going to go first? He's going first. I'll go first. Okay. I'm going to choose number five. I can't debate. So, Dad, as you're giving your opening argument, okay. you'll have to be doing Fortnite dances that will be seen on the screen here. Let's go. So, I want to just tell you guys that whenever... Oh, gosh. I'm going to break a hip. You're also going to break the debate. Whenever uh, I just want to go outside and hang out with her, she gets sidetracked and just wants to play on her video games. Her video game of choice is uh, Roblox. Oh, this is bad. Uh, so I just wanted her to limit the ability to play video games all day and just enjoy the outdoors because there's so much good Time. stuff. Uh, judges, what did you think of my debate and more importantly my moves so i can respect any man that's willing to embarrass himself for his <laughs> kids you know what i'm saying what do you think you want he can do better at we got to present some more options for her. i'll get you on that next one stack um what is that we have a physical version of the game tetris we're gonna bring out okay start stacking you can code on a Roblox, so it, it can be educational in a way. You wouldn't understand how fun it is because when you were a kid, I don't even think cell phones were invented and you didn't understand how fun it was. But if you did, I'm pretty sure you would like it because it's very fun in this generation. It's okay that you were born in another generation. You just gotta get used to it. Time! How did I do? Uh, I think you made some very good points. Thank you. They can be educational. I have Roblox too. I told you everyone has. Yeah, it. It, it's it's fun, but I wouldn't. I would still love to be outside. I think you did really good. I like how you finessed the the generational gap. But I need you to address why you don't play outside in the next round. I'll go with this one. Exercise? Schmexercise. So throughout your argument, you're gonna have to do burpees. Are you ready? I'm ready. He's ready! See what you got. All right, so one of the things as we got into the pandemic, we were trying to figure out how to support our daughter with physical fitness. One of the, her passions is gymnastics. So we got her a beam, we got her gymnastics bars, and she'll play on it. It's so she finds her iPad and will play sometimes as a gymnast in Roblox. And she's like, it's kind of the same thing. I'm like, kind of not. All right, guys, well, what do you think? Your burpees get a participation award. Um... <laughs> I, yeah, I couldn't get past the horrible burpees, man. I'm not going to lie. Maybe you guys can practice your burpees together. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm down with that. <laughs> Ready, set, dodge. Have you ever played dodgeball? No, I don't think so. Your dad gets to throw dodgeballs at you while you argue. <laughs> Be easy on me, dad, please. So I like Roblox because um, in Roblox, in some games, you can uh, work out a job. I also like Roblox. <laughs> I also like Roblox because I don't get it why my dad doesn't want me to play Roblox.
Roblox because I can just do sport on Roblox. All right, good job. So what did you think? I think you did pretty good, but you're nine and today was your first day ever playing dodgeball. So I think dad's got a little case on his hands right now. That's my parents' fault. I gotta say, even my three-year-old sister knows how to, what dodgeball is. I think if you want to win the debate, you should say what you think the video game offers you outside of real life fun and playing. Thank you. Go ahead and pick your next challenge, Dad. I'll pick number two. So, so, so scary? What do we got? So for this one, you're going to get blindfolded and okay. uh, your daughter is going to scare you. Are you nervous? Uh, yeah, a little nervous. I'm a little nervous too. Oh, but that's, that makes me excited, yeah. Oh my goodness. So we've been kind of throwing stuff at her, like getting her a beam and getting her rings <laughs> uh, and getting her uh, things that we thought she would like and just like have at it. Um, and we haven't been fully engaging with her. And I think that's the piece that we need to do. I think my wife and I would make sure that we are putting the time, not just to say go outside, but to have some intentionality of it so we can help, <laughs> we can help uh, Mackenzie enjoy being outside. Great. That was so loud. I felt like you had to like red in my ear. <laughs> Game over, okay. What does that mean? You play Pac-Man? Yeah. So we are turning Pac-Man into a real life game. Are you ready, Mackenzie? Yeah, I'm ready to debate. So another reason, I mean, I feel like I do enough Faster sports. Faster goes. I feel like I do enough sports, but apparently I don't join my dad. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my this god. Is going Wait, Mackenzie, you're not saying anything. You didn't say anything. So, Kenzie here, nine years old, really good with words. Almost turned me into a believer there. I'm gonna have to say that today you played your first game of dodgeball. Damn, I'm going with that. Dad. I'm going with Chris. Hey, I gotta, respect the, I gotta respect the attempt. I totally see where Mackenzie's coming from. I would play every single day when I came home from school. I totally get how addicting they are and they are so much fun. But I think my main thing too is that the video games will always be there, your imagination will always be there, but your childhood isn't. And so I'm gonna have to give it to Chris. I thought both of you were really good, but playing like half a day on a screen, it's not that healthy. Sorry, Miss Pac-Man, game over. I think Chris won this debate. <laughs> she doesn't like to lose. Well, Vaughn, Mackenzie, I was on your side. Thank you. Good job, you guys. 